Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Muhammad Izzuddin and this is my lab assessment for STA 761 March to 2023. So first, this is the lab instruction and I have downloaded my data set. So the first thing we do in Rapid Miner is to import the data here. Click my computer and find your downloaded data set. For me, it's inside my final semester 761 lab lab assessment click next okay since the data was like this what we can do is select all but no, you don't need to go to excel to change this one you just put a2 here so it exclude the first row and then you define header row for the second row okay now rapid miner can tag in so next usually missing value we will deal after we upload the data so next we save the data and put data set here and click finish okay so we see the design okay now we upload the data here and see the result how the data looks like this is where the data understanding happen Okay, first we see the missing value. Okay, we have five missing value in cholesterol, CHOL, which is serum cholesterol in milligram per dl. Eh, per, per DL. Okay, so usually what I do is to see five. So we have 303 rows. So I will do some quick calculation usually just to, to see how big our missing data sets. 5 out of 303 samples is around 1.65% usually be below 1.5 uh, below 5% I will remove but for the sake of demonstrating how I deal with uh, missing value I will I will deal with it I will change the value of missing value with something so we can find here just type missing impute here impute missing value is you just remove the missing value but for me I will replace since our data set is too small so removing the data set might not a best method oh no no we go to replace missing value we use subset and then select attribute since we know cholesterol is the one with missing value we apply and then on default they use average which is the one, one that I want also and, and then after that after we replace missing value we usually we set rows we set rows okay we just want the output here you see output in the instruction one is disease zero is not disease so we set target role as label okay now if you print it out you will see green column okay which is special attribute which is our target variable so next is we want to model using this data set so what we use is we split the model split the data set split the data set into edit numeration usually I use 0 0.8 for training and 0 0.2 for testing okay so next what I do is I choose the model usually I will start with simple model like logistic regression for classification problem so we need this one okay and then one hand, handful features is they have the recommended operators at the bottom we need the apply model operator and then we need the performance binomial so how to connect this is parameter to target and then this one for model mod to mod and then lab to lab and then we can see the result of the modeling okay insufficient capability even at the set numerical label not supported okay got it 
what we need to do is since the target variable is 0 to 1 detected as integer not as a not as a binomial features so we put here we change numerical to binomial we use here to here here to here now we can change numerical to binomial we only want the subset which is the output as the binomial one should be okay by now okay now we have 80.33 percent usually which is we don't know if it is high or low so what we are gonna do is we will use another model to check if this is to compare with other models so usually what I do is I just use this node to put LR logistic regression okay I copy first and then you can drag here for logistic regression then when you move here just to label this area is the modeling for logistic regression okay so next I will use usually I will use decision tree okay split the data logistic regression apply model formats okay Okay, apply model performance and then since this is only can be used this data set can be used for once what we need to do is to multiply the data set multiply okay here we got multiply so we remove this one first set rows to input we multiply the data set so we can use for logistic regression you can just drag this one and use for decision tree we remove the logistic regression tool and we put decision tree decision tree here and okay so now we have decision tree so usually what i do is i rename this one with DT decision tree to make everything clear after we print the data set okay so before we print the result I think I want to use the same one but for the same model but but for render forest so it's easier for us to compare all three model so we delete decision tree too we put random forest here okay mod to mod and then in here we can rename it rename operator uh, result rf okay we connect this one to here decision tree to decision tree and you can also do sticky notes for decision tree and random forest. Next, we run the result. Now we has we have all three. The first one is uh, performance, which is for logistic regression, eighty point three three. Decision tree seven three point seven seven, which is worse than logistic regression. And random forest, we have eighty three point six one, which is the best model. So for me, from random forest, we can get the can drag this apply model just to see how the decision tree looks like and we can click here weight to see what features have the highest weight for the decision if the if the patient is a heart disease patient or not so you can see here you can visualize it first the first features is the cholesterol second features is age and Third features is the RTBHS, which is resting blood pressure, and then we can also see how the decision tree looks like. You can click to any tree. Okay, this is how. 
So in conclusion, this is how I would do modeling in random in rapid minor, and also we can also use uh, the tempo. I think we can use the other model that you want to use. And for me, that's all from me. Thank you.